beats us to the punch. Congrats, Robert. What a war. What a fight tonight here in front of your home crowd. BKFC debut. Couldn't get any better than that, right? Oh, it was amazing. Exactly the fight I wanted. I didn't want no easy fight. I wanted someone to test me, test myself coming up in the game, joining the bare knuckle hand up to step up an opponent. And I got that tonight. Gladfully, I came out winning. Yeah. Uh, respect to Ben, though. He's one tough man. Give it everything he got in there. But I come out on top. It's my night tonight. You had Ben Bonner down early in the fight and he showed so much heart, so much resilience, came back. Did you even think he would make it so long in the fight? I knew he was going I knew he wasn't just gonna give up. I knew he wasn't the type of bloke to just go down and stay down. I knew I had a fight on my hands tonight. And uh, he give us it, he proved proved he's got a massive heart. But it's bare knuckle. Uh, so most of the fights end up that end and that way, don't they? Could be me next time, but tonight it was my night. What was the key to victory for you tonight? Just grit, just keep going. Uh, he was landing some big shots on us, and to be honest, it, it gave us quite a bit of a buzz. I enjoyed it. Made us want to f keep going, going forward, keep taking them and throwing back. How did it feel for you to get out there in front of this huge Newcastle crowd? You're from here. Were there any nerves for you? Oh, amazing. Um, I've been very relaxed, to be honest, until I came out to the front of the stage there and everything kind of hit us. I think after the second round, uh, the fatigue kicked in a bit, and I thought I've just got to dig deep and get through this in front of me home people. It's like... Right, yeah, exactly. This is where I grew up, around this place. So it was amazing to do, have me beat uh, Diabu, right, yeah. So a lot of people in here, I guess you grew up with, right, in your childhood, and you know, all the way. Yeah, definitely. Uh, like, I went to school two minutes away from here. My mum's house is only five minutes down the road. Everything's very local to me. So there's a lot of people here who I know. All the way through the fight, we saw Luis Keen there who just fought the fight before you. He was cheering for you, rooting for you, so you're all very close in your gym, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, like brothers in the gym, it's amazing. Like, to be honest, what me and Ben just done each other there, that's what me and Luis do in the gym, but we wear gloves to be nice. But we do uh, give each other a good old beating in the gym. <laughs> to have someone like him to train with, though, it's amazing. Obviously, someone on my level who pushes me on, and uh, obviously, coming up together. Now, you have a lot of martial arts experience, right? In different martial arts, but it's your first bare knuckle fight. So how challenging is it to transition over to bare knuckle? To be honest, the, the hardest part was the unexpected. Obviously, you can't train bare knuckles, so you don't know what it's going to be like to take a bare knuckle punch until I'd got in there tonight. And like I said, I took a few bare knuckle, a few of these punches clean, and they give us a bit of a buzz. So I thought, I think I'm going to be all right tonight. Uh, I know he stopped his last opponent with body shot, so I was quite wary of that. He caught us with quite a big body shot, and uh, I powered on through that as well. Felt quite good after it, after it, to be honest. What do you love most about the bare knuckle game? It's just brutal, isn't it? It's like. It's hard to predict, predict who's going to be the winner, just one punch, that's all it takes. Obviously tonight, it took a few of each uh, from both sides to do quite a bit of damage. And I think that's a better fight for the fans, to be honest. They pay a lot of money to come here. And that fight, me and Ben just give them there, I think that's what they want. Everybody loves a quick knockout, but to see two lads battling it out like that, that's, that's where you'll get the money's worth. An incredible war in your first bare knuckle fight. What are going to be your takeaways from that fight? And what can you carry forward to the next fight? Um, I, need, I know I need to move more. Instead of standing there, looking at punches coming towards us, I need to get out the way, uh, have a dance around a bit, but that'll all come to us. Obviously, I'll have to go back to the gym, let myself recover, but back to the dorm board from next week and uh, keep going pre in pre preparation for the next one. Who do you want next? Is there anybody you want to call out? I'm not one for calling names out, just whoever wh whoever the givers. It's up to Andrew Bakewell, the promoter. Um, Whoever he wants to give us, I'm there, I'll be available. An amazing crowd in Newcastle, the Newcastle fighters are real warriors. What is it that you want to tell all your fans from Newcastle? Yeah, thank you for coming, thank you for the support. Thank you to all my sponsors, it's like, I don't think they understand how much help it's given us for this training camp. There's been a lot of extra expenses for us to step up my game and, and do this, but all my sponsors have been amazing and uh, they've got us to where I am now, so I'm really grateful for them. Um, obviously, all the people who bought tickets, I want to thank them. And just anyone in general who watches online or supports and uh, follows us on, on my journey, just 
It's amazing to have the support of everyone. I'm Robert Barry with Bare Knuckle News, and nobody beats us to the punch.